Welcome to the online registration system for student participation in the Los Angeles County Science Fair. The first thing that we recommend before you begin registering online is to get a copy of the practice scratch sheet uh, for student online registration and complete all the information on that worksheet before you sit down in front of your computer to complete the online process. The first step in online registration is to go to the URL site, which you see here on the screen, and you want to take your cursor and where it says click here to register a new account, go ahead and click there. You'll see a new screen that will come up that says register and there's a pull down menu. You want to go up to the pull down menu and select student. And once you select student, go ahead and click continue. You'll then see uh, another page that says register student profile information and this is all of your background information. It's very important that you type things in correctly. Use appropriate upper and lower case when you type. The first field is asking what school you go to and it is a pull down menu and when you click on the pull down menu you're going to see a long long list of all the schools that are registered to participate in the LA County Science Fair. You need to select the appropriate school that you belong to and make sure you check with your teacher for the exact name that he or she registered the school as. In uh, the case of this example I am going to select beta test school uh, where it says grade, you're going to type in a number, either 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. And for purposes of this, I'm going to type in 6. Your name, type your first name. And then your last name. Where it says address, you want to type your home address. and then the city where it says state it already has the default for California and then your zip code phone number it's asking for your home phone number make sure you include your area code the next field is email it's asking for a specific email that you'll use for registration here uh, it must be an email that uh, we can access without any firewalls so that the LA County Science Fair can communicate with you when we need to. If you don't have an email account, you can see here that you can go through Gmail or Microsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my email. And then there is a pull down menu where you can select your gender. I'm going to select male and then I'm going to click continue. You'll notice that a page will open uh, thanking you for registering and it says that an email with login instructions will be sent to you. Uh, it's going to be sent to you by way of our server which is going to be Bluehost server. I've gone into my personal email and you can see that I've received an email confirmation from our automated system. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and you'll notice that the particular address says LA SciFair at box 698.bluehost.com. That is our automated system. You'll notice that there is a password here. That password, make sure you write it down because you're going to need that to log into the system at any time. So I'm going to copy and paste that now. And then I'm going to go back and get into the registration page. I'm going to type this time. I don't want to click here. Uh, I want to go right to the email and I am going to type in my email. And then I'm going to type in and in this case I'm going to paste my password and then click sign in. It's going to take me to my own special page. It's welcoming me and uh, it will then instruct me to go ahead and uh, 
begin to register my project information. Now, if you are the team leader of a team, you will register not only your personal profile information, but you'll also register all of your project information. Your team members do not register project information, but they do, each team member of a team must register their personal profile. And we'll explain that in just a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Submit a Project. You'll be taken to a new page that says New Project. The first field uh, on your project information is asking for the title of your project. This title is not to exceed 150 characters. A character is a letter and a space. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my title. The category is a pull-down menu. We have specific categories for the junior division and the senior division. Since I am in sixth grade, the sample that I'm using, the choices that you're going to see are only going to be from the junior category. And descriptions of each of these categories can be found on our website. In the case of this particular example, I'm going to select animal biology. The display type, there's a pull-down menu, uh, the standard table model versus the floor model. Those dimensions are also stated on the website and in the student handbook. Mine is a table model, so I'm going to select standard. Now the next series of questions asks me specific information regarding my project. The first one is asking if my project requires electricity. Uh, if there's no electricity needed, I will select no. If there is electricity needed, I will select yes. In my case, there's no electricity, so I'm going to select no. Um, the next category, it says involves animal tissues. My project does not involve animal tissues. I'm going to select no. Uh, keep in mind that any project that involves animal tissues, human subjects, vertebrate animals, or hazardous chemicals, those projects needed to be pre-approved by the Los Angeles County Science Fair Science Review Committee. And if you did not submit for prior approval, you're not qualified to participate in the Los Angeles County Science Fair. Let's continue. Uh, the next category says, does it involve human subjects? In my case, the project did not. The next category, does it involve vertebrate animals? And in my case, it did. It involved my house uh, pets, the dogs. So I'm going to select yes. But I did indeed submit the appropriate certification forms for prior approval. And that is what qualifies me to continue this registration process. The next category is asking about hazardous chemicals. I didn't use any hazardous chemicals in my project at all, so I'm going to select no. Then finally, we come to a text box entitled abstract. The abstract is a very, very important part of this project entry information because it's the first exposure that the judges have to your project. Uh, the judges in your particular category will be logging in and reviewing all the abstracts two to three weeks prior to the fair to get a sense of the quality of your projects before they actually see it. Now in this case you'll notice that there's a 250 word mi uh, maximum for uh, your abstract and we have uh, created a text box where we made it simple. You can actually type your abstract ahead of time, get it approved by your site coordinator for spelling, punctuation, and grammar, and that the abstract includes all the key components. And then you can actually copy it from a Word document and then paste it into this box. When you are typing your abstract, there are some key elements that you should include in it. You should include your objective or goal. You should include the materials and methods that are being used in your research. You want to have a section that explains your results. And then finally, the conclusions 
that you have in regard to your results and a discussion of your final uh, uh, research. In the next field, you're going to see where it says Project Owner, and you'll notice that the default has my name, John Doe. You do not want to change this name. Uh, leave this as is and go on to the next category. Now, if your project is a team project, and since you are completing the project information, you're going to need to uh, actually select the names of your team members from partner one and partner two. If you don't have any team members, if it is just an individual project, you want to select none on both partner one and partner two. You were indeed a part of a team project your team members and you can have up to two additional team members in addition to yourself they are supposed to go and register online but they register only their profile their specific information and when their specific information is registered online their name will appear in the pull down menu so you'll select from that pull down menu your partner number one and your partner number two and that's how we create a team in our database system. The last field says assisted by. This is where you want to put the names of the people that assisted you on your project. Uh, in the case of my project, my science teacher assisted me and my parents. So we want to make sure that we duly note those people that provide assistance. When you're all done, it's important to take the cursor and click on the Save button. When I click Save, you're going to notice at the top of the page it says Project Saved, and then it's going to summarize all of the information that you just submitted. Now is the time that you want to review all of this information to make sure that it is correct. Check for spelling, punctuation, make sure that you have upper and lower case, that it's typed appropriately. Um, if everything is um, correct, then what you can do is come down here with your cursor and where it says click here to print, you would want to go ahead and click there and I would print two copies. One copy for your personal files and a second copy that you can give to your site coordinator. If you're all done, you can then come down here and click log out. But let's say that there was an error, or let's say that you wanted to add some information. You can scroll up to the top, and you can come up here to where it says Edit Profile. That will take you to your personal profile page, where you can edit all of your personal information, making sure that it is correct. If you make any changes, make sure that you click Update Student, and then it will take you to this page, and it allows you to view your project entries, or you can go to edit your project. After clicking that, you'll notice it takes me back to my project information, and at this point, I can check all of my project information to make sure that it's correct. So. Now that you are comfortable with the changes or any additions that you've made, you can go and log out and that will end your registration process. You can enter using your email and password and click and sign in and then go back and make any edits that you choose, making sure that you scroll down and click the save button every time you make a change. Finally, if for any reason you forget your password, you can always come to the front page and where it says here, Forgot Password, you click on that and it will then allow you to type in your email and after you type in your email, you want to click where it says Send Email and you'll notice it will say an email has been sent to you with instructions on resetting your password so I would want to go to my email and check for a message where it will give me instructions on how to reset the password